The Public Employees Retirement Association, or PERA, administers three statewide retirement plans providing defined benefit coverage to employees of local governments and school districts. The association also manages a statewide retirement plan providing deferred contribution coverage to elected officials and other personnel. Finally, PERA oversees a lump sum defined benefit plan for volunteer firefighters in the state. Let's explore these plans and the impact on public employers. The Public Employees Retirement Association, known as PERA, serves over 25,000 current and former public employees from over 2,000 local units of government throughout the state of Minnesota. PERA also provides monthly benefits to over 100,000 retirees and other benefit recipients. PERA administers defined benefit retirement plans that provide retirement, survivor, and disability benefits for city and county employees and non-teaching employees of schools. In defined benefit plans, participants receive fixed schedule payments based on a formula. The PERA plans available include the Coordinated Plan. This plan includes members who are subject to Social Security rules. The majority of city employees participate in this plan. The police and fire plan is not subject to social security rules and is made up of police officers and firefighters. Finally, the correctional plan is effective July 1, 1999. Correctional officers new to PERA coverage and those formerly members of PERA coordinated or the police and fire plan became members of this PERA correctional plan. PERA also provides a defined contribution plan for government officials, ambulance personnel, and physicians working in the public sector. Generally, defined contribution plans do not guarantee any benefit upon retirement, and instead the amount available at retirement is dependent on how much is contributed by the employee and the employer. PERA has a comprehensive and useful handbook for each plan we've just discussed. Representatives from PERA are available to answer employer and employee questions. In addition, a great deal of information about PERA benefits is available on the PERA website. Membership in PERA is automatic for non-elected public employees who meet the eligibility requirements established by state statute. In other words, employees and employers are required to participate. Both the employee and the city contribute to PERA. To join PERA and enroll employees in a PERA-administered plan, employers must meet the definition of a governmental subdivision as defined in Minnesota statute. Governmental employers subject to coverage under PERA are the counties, cities, towns, and school districts within Minnesota, a department or unit of the state or local government, or any other governmental body whose revenue is derived from taxation, fees, assessment, or other public sources. In addition to the employers meeting this definition, there are certain employers specifically included in PERA participation, as well as others specifically excluded from PERA participation by Minnesota law. Public employees whose annual salary from one governmental subdivision is stipulated in advance to exceed $5,100 are required to participate as members of PERA. More specifically, if the annual compensation from one governmental subdivision to an employee exceeds $5,100, contributions must be made on that employee's behalf. If the employee's salary dips below $425 in any month, the employee is still eligible to participate in PERA. Certain local government positions do not qualify to participate in PERA for various reasons. Before deciding that a position does not qualify for PERA, agencies should consult directly with Minnesota Statutes or PERA. The following are examples of the kinds of positions not eligible to participate in PERA. Elected officials in an elected office of a governing body. Seasonal or temporary personnel whose period of employment is less than six consecutive months and whose earnings is less than $5,100 annually election judges and employees administering elections, and full-time students who have not yet reached the age of 23 and are enrolled as a full-time student in an accredited school. City managers or administrators of local government agencies may elect to be excluded from membership in PERA. They must choose this exclusion within six months of the day of employment. The law also provides for refunds of contributions made before the election. 
If they elect exclusion, they and their agency may agree that the agency will defer and contribute additional compensation to a deferred compensation program. The agency contribution cannot exceed the amount it would have made under the PERA contribution. The amount is not subject to the annual salary limitation or the governor's salary cap established by Minnesota statute. The PERA fund receives matching contributions from the employee and the employer plus an additional contribution from the employer to amortize actuarial deficits in the fund. The contributions in both cases are expressed in percentages of covered payroll. PERA percentages are based on total salary. The agency collects employees' contributions through payroll deductions and remits them to PERA within 14 days of each paycheck. The agency should remit employer contributions along with employee contributions. Federal and state income taxes on PERA contributions are deferred. Thus, most PERA benefits are taxable when they're received. Generally, Social Security and Medicare deductions are taken on total gross wages before PERA deductions are made. Federal and state taxes are taken on salary less PERA deductions. An employee ending public service and remaining out of public employment for more than 30 days may elect to receive a refund of contributions instead of leaving them with PERA and drawing the defined benefit pension later. The refund consists of the employee's contributions plus 4% interest compounded annually. If an employee returns to Minnesota Public Service after receiving a refund, the employee may repay all or a portion of the refund plus 8.5% interest compounded annually to restore public service credit with PERA. Partial payments are allowed under certain conditions. The PERA pension is paid in equal monthly payments for the employee's lifetime with annual adjustments. The benefit is a product of the employee's age, average salary, and years of credited service. Calculations are based on the high five, which is the gross salary an employee earns during the 60 consecutive months in which his or her salary was the greatest. These factors vary from member to member and from plan to plan. The amount of the pension also depends on whether the employee elects to provide income protection to a survivor in the event of their death.